So we're going to change the order of the talks. Uh, we'll begin with Jorge Ledo, then Ryuji Hiraoka, and then Teddy Hedger. This panel, Japan's Christian Century, is devoted to the earliest cultural and intellectual exchanges between Japan and the West following the arrival of Christian missionaries between 1549 and 1650. Our panel is sponsored by the newly founded Japanese Association for Renaissance Studies, or JARS. The Japanese Association for Renaissance Studies is conducting a large-scale collaborative research project entitled Renaissance Culture and Japan's Christian Century, <clears throat> generously funded by the Japanese Ministry of Education. It aims to unite Renaissance studies scholars and Japanese studies scholars. For more information, please uh, visit renaissancejapan.org. Our first speaker today, Jorge Ledo, is assistant professor at the University of Basel in Switzerland. He is a specialist of Spanish literature and intellectual history, namely the reception of Erasmus in the Iberi Iberian Peninsula. He is the editor of the new book series, Heterodoxia Iberica, published by Brill. Today his talk is Martyrdom, Orientalism, and Christian Imagery, Japan in Early Modern Spanish Culture. by a number of disciplines, including the history of philosophy, the study, the study of early modern science, the comparative history of religions, cultural studies, and intellectual history. Most research concerning Iberian culture in Japan in such fields has been uh, undertaken by a growing community of international scholars uh, and Japanese scholars, out of which the Japanese Association for Renaissance Studies uh, has emerged and demonstrated major commitment and research excellence. However, it is difficult to make the, the same assertion with regard to the study of the impact of Japanese culture in early modern Europe. It is only in recent, in recent years that any light has been shed on this area by worthy, by, but poorly distributed and scarcely read scholarship that is marginal to the main discourse uh, on, the history, on the history of the Spanish Empire and its colonial and evangelical assets. While much attention has been paid to the history of religious orders and their presence in Japan, research on perceptions of the aristocracy and secular uh, intelligentsia uh, in Japan is minimal. And there appears to be no comprehensive study of the popular beliefs and notions of Japan and Japanese culture of the time. Uh, this gap has been redressed uh, in the last decade due um, to shifts in research cultures. For example, Many Japanese scholars have begun uh, taking this interdisciplinary approaches in the dissemination of the work and have attracted the attention of Hispanists and Orientalists uh, striving to obtain better understanding of issues such as an imperial project and scientific culture in America and Asia. My paper today gives examples of uh, cultural output uh, which when analyzed begin to shed light on the impact of Japan in early modern Spanish popular or folk culture. The most, path, uh, the most traversed path taken so far in examining the presence of Japan in the Iberian Peninsula has emerged uh, in, this course, in this course concerning uh, Jesuit culture. Many authors have repeatedly stressed um, the importance of the annual reports and letters sent from Asia by the missionaries of the order, and for that matter, the missionaries from other orders such as Augustines, uh, Dominicans, and Franciscans. As these documents are uh, indicati indicative of the perception of Catholic uh, Western culture in Japan and of the acculturation of the missionaries in order to cope with their evangelical mission. Conversely, Trevor J. Datson demonstrated in 1998 that according to records kept by private libraries in Spain in the 16th century, a uh, re reciprocal uh, absorption of Japanese culture did not occur in Spain. Readers uh, show little to no interest in titles related to Asia or America. 
the data indicates that humanist, aristocrats, and even the religious felt no obligation to consider the challenges by the, of the conquerors, the massacres of Native Americans, or the natural history of the New World, nor did they have their approach on the collector uh, on these matters. Uh, catechisms were the best sellers of the period and were written for the consumption of all the new Christians although the recent converts uh, had access to specifically uh, oriented materials in the peninsula. In a similar way uh, to the text translated and prepared for uh, Japanese audience, which were printed in Nagasaki uh, from 1590 to 1614, uh, or Manila, uh, catechism prepared for Native Americans uh, who were to be evangelized were printed in Mexico. As far as I know, there is only one exception uh, to this procedure, the recreation made in 1580 by Juan Lorenzo Palmireno uh, of the actual polemic held by Cosme de Torres with a group of Gonzos in 1551. It was published uh, as a chapter with the title uh, Colloquy, a Colloquy uh, between the Gentile, Gentile Doctors from the Remoteness and the Father Cosme de Torres, which included a number of common ideas on the religion of Japan and presented arguments countering these ideas. The brief dialogue was part of Juan Lorenzo Palmireno's uh, Oratory uh, for the Ailing, Oratorio de Enfermos, 1580, a collection of prayers, short stories, lives of saints, jokes, puns, and contemporary events, connected by a vague uh, narrative framework involving a conversation between a patient and his caregiver. The reaction, uh, the reaction of the patient after Cosme's defense of the faith is significant, significant when compared with the common assertion of Amerindians. Uh, and I quote, not only does the intelligence of the Japanese people petrify me, but the blindness imposed on them by the devil and that they possess such an immense territory. Uh, in 16th century Spain, this could perhaps be the most elaborate opinion on Japanese people by an uneducated person. Much of the correspondence between the missionaries and their Iberian and Ita Italian brothers stresses the need for physically strong and intellectual com intellectually competent missionaries. It was necessary for them to adapt to Japanese culture, to imitate the bonzos when necessary, and to learn the language to succeed. Uh, but a fair education would be also of use, since as uh, Francis Xavier and his heirs uh, continuously comment in the report, Japanese people greatly enjoy uh, the information on astronomy, the contact with products of Western uh, ingenuity, and uh, with everything related to science, and it could be a first step in gathering their trust in order to achieve the, their conversion. Moreover, it is evident that Parmireno's aim was not to evangelize uh, to a Japanese audience, uh, but rather to inform Hispanic readers and, above all, entertain them with a hint of exoticism. Paradoxically, then, a catechism produced to convert the Japanese was actually a source of information on a culture remote uh, to the Spanish. To compare this brief and testimonial catechism with the extensive uh, Christian doctrine for the instruction of the Indians uh, of Pedro de Cordoba, the issues faced by the missionaries were becoming clear. If the main difficulty to convert Japanese people uh, stemmed from the complexity of their culture, um, of language, of, and institutions, the main obstacle uh, for the evangelization of Native Americans was precisely the opposite, that is, their simplicity and their lack of institution. Palmireno was by no means a bestseller, and even if he were, he would, not only, uh, he would only contribute a minor impression of the image of Japan in, Japan, in Spanish uh, popular culture at the end of the 16th century. The situation changed uh, rapidly thanks to the calamity of the teachers and instructors uh, at the Jesuit schools on the verge of the Radio Studio in 1591-1596. Uh, theater in the schools of the Jesuits in Spain lacks a panorama, but it has gained much uh, of attention over the last decade. Performances, performances held there were not addressed to a general audience, but to students, their families, and their congregations. A number of dramatic plays have recent, uh, recently been undercovered and edited, including the uh, Colloquy of the Spiritual Conquest of Japan, Colloquio de la Conquista Espiritual de Japón, um, which was probably written at the beginning of the 17th century and provides a good example of the genre. This anonymous colloquy of uh, 4,200 polymetric verses included, uh, includes a great number of characters, lacks dramatic tension, and is composed in different allegorical and historical representations 
uh, to illustrate the task of the listeners in the town. Uh, the arrangements serve an educational and doctrinary purpose. The more students involved in the play, the better, so that their instructors were assured that they have read uh, it and engaged with its content. And the more students, the more families will be compelled to, uh, to assist to the representations. With regard to the content, uh, the colloquy is a reenactment of letters and reports from the Jesuit missionaries in Japan. From Jesuit missionaries in Japan. Overall, uh, Francis Xavier uh, through tunneling of uh, biography. When considered from that viewpoint, uh, and not only as a dramatic play, the text is much more coherent. The distinction between the Japanese preachers, the bonsos, and the shoguns as, amen as amenable uh, to, the to the true religion not only marked the image of Japanese people as open to conversion, but presented a challenging division between theology and politics from 16th century Spaniards. While the Jesuits' scholarly plays were lively, theater was increasingly becoming an spectacle that attracted uh, large uh, audiences desiring entertainment. This demand cultivated the emergence of a new generation of playwrights who were prepared to fulfill it. For the first half of the 17th century, theater became, together with hojas volanderas, these flyers, basquinades, feasts, processions, and sermons, the main source of information on contemporary matters for most of the urban population. As such, it is difficult to, dis uh, to dispute the assertion made by José Antonio Maraval in his classical The Culture of the Baroque in Spain that, the uh, that theater was preferred and the preferred tool to create, spread, and mobilize the population in the preferred direction uh, for the elites. This argument, common to all Europe, convincingly explains the growth of dramas on local saints and the scarce number of dramas on the conquest of America and the practical non-existence of any dramatic play on the evangelization of Japan. Playwrights were convinced, no doubt, that their audience would not respond well to dramas representing contexts and cultures that were alien to them. Although they might have wanted to experiment with those things, they did not have sufficient knowledge um, of Japanese or American cultures to do so let alone the skills to make the issues accessible to an illiterate audience. Significantly, in the case of Japan, there was no desire by the ecclesiastical authorities to experience, uh, to experience to propagate the idea of a failure in the task of universal evangelization. No matter how far it happened and how obstacled by demons, bonsors, and tyrants it might have been. The provision of Spanish ships arrived to Japan on shore in 1644, uh, 1624 and the end of Japanese Christian century in 1641 for Spain made probably the rest for the lack of interest and materials in the Spanish secular and urban theaters called Corners de Comedias. Nonetheless, there is one single play, the first martyrs of Japan, Los Primeros Martyrs del Japón, attributed to Lope de Vega where the martyrs are presented in a scene that will be familiar to both the readers of this edifying genre and to those accustomed to visiting churches throughout Spain. And I quote, A trumpet sounds, and all the mount spins around, and between the rocks Thomas appears crucified. On his feet, Navarrete holds his own head fenced by an axe with his hands. The Franciscan, on the right side of the cross, has an arrow in his chest and the Augustine friar remains at this at his side in pain on a pipe. End of quote. The impression after reading the play, with its fusion of uh, palace, intrigue, intrigue uh, romance and religion, is that the, its author found that martyrdom was not enough to maintain the attention of the audience for two hours. In order to make the argument easy to follow, he borrowed topics from uh, and formulas from early on in Spanish theater to frame the Japanese political and religious affairs uh, within the play. The result was less satisfying and it seemed to teach a lesson to 17th century playwrights that dramatic plays representing the topic of martyrdom should foster the identification of the audience with the theme from a local point of view, or at least the story should be familiar to the faithful. Lope de Vega himself published an independent volume in 1618 to, uh, in Madrid which was the result of a commission from the Jesuits, entitled The Triumph, the Triumph of Faith in the Kingdoms of Japan in 1614 and 1615. The Triumph of the Fe in the Reinos de Japón por los años de 1614 y 1615, which was his only incursion into historiography. 
The importance of the book stems from the fact that martyrdom is considered to be the ultimate form of religious piety. But before discussing the book, let me quote Lope, who used his sources to depict Japanese people this way. And I quote, The people from Japan are white, their wit and memory admirable. They do not cover their head. His wealth comes from metals. They build in wood. Their weapons are arquebuses, arrows, daggers, and spades. Their spears are clearly superior uh, to the ones from Europe, both in their poisonous forks and in their lightness. They dress differently according to their, uh, sorry, to their age, in our, in our shame, as we will fight to cover our old age with artifices. They write in prose and in verse, and they despise the foreigners in all matters, as foreign nations are so far when compared to theirs. End of quote. From this, point of, uh, from this point onward, in the book, Lope de Vega explains the circumstances surrounding martyrdom of Japanese converts during 1614 and 1615. It is important to point out that Lope's vision is profoundly respectful toward Japanese people. Uh, as depicted in the play attributed to him, the conversion to Christianity in Japan is prevented due to the power of the emperor and the intrigues of the bonsors. Additionally, given the high moral standards and culture of the Japanese, there was no need for change, particularly in the light of the lack of exemplarity of, Catholic, uh, of Catholics. Uh, with regard to the evangelization of Asia and Japan, Lopez's work embodies the anagogic assertion that martyrdom and expulsion should not be read as a historical failure, but as the sublimation of the faith. The triumph of faith in the kingdoms of Japan by 1614 and 1615 by Lope de Vega is also symptomatic of the shift of the culture of the book, publication and consumption in the early years of the 17th century in Spain. To reiterate, the consumption of chronicles, the natural history of America and Asia, reports of by evangelizers, the lives of saints and so on, by the vernacular readers of 16th century Spain was minimal at best. As shifts in reading occurred, uh, there surfaced a new growing interest in these topics uh, and in the role of the Spanish crown as a political power in the bastion of Catholicism and in and beyond Europe. This change was brought about by a number of factors, including rampant economic and institutional crisis, the decay of military and political power of the Ospors over, uh, over Europe, and the clear impact of the, of the policies of the Counter-Reformation in Spain. Um, Japan's absence from the urban theaters was repaired by its presence in feasts and celebrations all around Spain. We have a good example uh, in, in the feast related to the beatification by Urbanus VII in 1628 of the martyrs of Nagasaki. Uh, on, on February the 5th, in 1597, 26 Christians, four Spaniards, one Mexican, one Indian, all Franciscan missionaries, Three Japanese Jesuits and 17 Japanese laymen, including three young boys who were all members of the Third uh, Order of St. Francis, were executed by crucifixion in Nagasaki on the orders of Hideyoshi Toyotomi. These individuals were raised on crosses and then pierced through with the spears. Apart from the success of the massacre uh, in popular art and in Baroque iconography prior to the beatification, uh, the celebration of 1628 all took place in Andalusia. We kept records of the feasts by the Franciscans celebrated in Seville and in Ronda, and of the feast by the Jesuits in Carmona, an important city at, of uh, 18,000 houses close to Seville, which happened to be made in honor of the three Jesuit martyrs from Japan, Diego Kisai, Pablo Miki, and Juan Goto. At this point, it is important to stress the, func the function of these uh, feasts they presented a parallel between the Japanese converts, easily apprehensible by Spanish popular classes. The Spaniards who attended to the feast found themselves not only sharing a common social stratum with the Japanese converts, but rather a pure Christian faith lacking any superfluous sophistication. Furthermore, there was a subliminal message that reinforced the submission both to temporal and religious power as feasts constantly stressed the political tyranny and oppression suffered by Japanese Christianity, oppo opposite to the rule of a virtuous Christian prince, uh, and the intrigues by the bonsos who were exclusively interested in the total control of cult and in avoiding their access to poverty. Whereas the Catholic Church precisely pretended uh, to guide temporal power to the end of the universal salvation, 
and it was as it was, as it was interpret, interpreted uh, in the imperial lecture of evangelization in the Spanish communities. Uh, I have briefly mentioned and commented some important sources demonstrating the image of the Japanese uh, in the Spanish early modern culture. There are, however, some important paths that, due to the lack of time, have been left unattended, like the creation of the Namban art, a specific uh, to the Western Connoisseur, and its reception, or the forms of identification and discernment of art from the extreme orient in Spain that I will leave for another occasion. Now, I would like to finish with a reflection of some popular conceptions on Japan and Japanese culture in Spain, with, uh, with their impact in the atelier of some of the master writers of the Spanish Golden Age, which I hope will serve as a resume of what I, of, of what I have said. Uh, I presume that there is no need to present here the great Spanish humanist and satirist Francisco de Quevedo, other than to introduce his primary role in the communication of neo-stoicism in Spain, which he tackled in a number of treatises and uh, translations. Six years before his death, in 1639, Quevedo was arrested for his memorial entitled, uh, entitled uh, Rey Sacra Católica Real Majestad, which attacks the Count Duke of Olivares. He passed it to Philip IV under a napkin and was immediately imprisoned uh, in the convent of Saint Mark in Lyon until 1643, that is five years. During this period, he wrote the last of his works on Stoicism, called Providen uh, Providence of God, La Providencia de Dios, 1641-1642, in which he attempts to combine, once more, uh, Christian morals with Stoicism. There is a passage in the work where Quevedo deals with one of, the, of his most curious uh, topics from Seneca, that is, life is nothing but a preparation for death. Quevedo now offers an alternative to the solution of the stoic wise for a surprising alternative, uh, Girolamo Ansaloni. Ansaloni was an Italian Dominican who arrived to Japan in 1632. He was arrested on August 4th, 1634, and tortured for seven days. He was forced to witness the death of his companion Thomas, uh, along with 69 other Christians. On November 18th, he was executed at Nagasaki by being suspended from a plank with his head buried in the ground until death. Quevedo states, in a quote, Three virtues removed the fear from his body, faith, hope, and charity. The three of them belong to the soul, and the soul with them informs the body of its immortality, and with the hope of resurrection, it makes the body fall in love with death, which it fears by nature. Ten years after Quevedo uh, claimed that martyrdom is the ultimate wisdom uh, for in front of death, Baltasar Gracián finishes one of the finest and most exacting novels ever written in Spanish, El Critico. The work is a continuous and monumental uh, allegory and in its vastness, uh, Japan is mentioned twice. The first iteration can be found in chapter 13 of the first book, Crisi Primera, where all the vices are distributed among the nations, and I quote, Infidelity to Greece, barbarism to Turkey, rule to, Mos uh, pardon, uh, guide to Moscow, atrocity to Sweden, and justice to Tartaria, <coughs> deliciousness to Persia, cowardice to China, Temerity to Japan, and Sloth, who even this, who even this time arrived late, uh, found no place, and she had to go to America to live among the Indians. The second passage is taken from Book Second, Crisis Segunda, Chapter 8. In, it, it is a famous scene in, uh, in which bravery is dying, and all the nations come to see her and discover their inheritance. Bravery distributes the parts of her body and I, I put just a single passage. My chest to the Swedish, the legs to the Turkish, the guts to the Persians, people of good guts. To the Americans, my bones, so they have something to know, as they should. The back to the Chinese, my heart to the Japanese, who are the Spaniards of Japan, uh, Spaniards of, of uh, Asia, sorry. End of quote. In a detailed analysis of these passages, Hideito uh, Higashitani has drawn information from the extensive biography written by Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese Jesuits, since Gracián himself pertains to the order. However, 
I would argue that an effective rhythm must account for Gracian's perception of the pale imperial reason uh, of the Spanish crown and that he's establishing a parallel between the topical docility, loquilitas, of the Amerindians and the feritas and their docility and confidence, the meritas, the Japanese. To finish, I would like to give some examples on how the popular culture, the conception of Japan and martyrdom emerged in literary works. For instance, in the Estebanillo González, 1646, one of the most successful picaresque novels of the 17th century, when Estebanillo mentions going to the barber, uh, a stereotypical character for everybody in Spanish satires, he mentions that he was passing through a martyrdom with him without being in Japan. Similar jokes are repeated twice in Francisco Santos' Día y Noche de Madrid, 1665, in one occasion alluding to a dentist instead of a barber, although these were shared professions and competencies at the time. And the second, when one of the characters tries to stop his pontificating partner from telling him that he is neither an heretic nor in Japan. These passages show how the image of Japanese culture, drawn from theater, popular representations and feasts, were interiorized by the Spaniards of Golden Age. I would like to close with a shocking passage by Manuel Rodriguez, a Spanish Jesuit who wrote the following lines in 1684 in his Marañón and Amazonas, the history of the discoveries, Marañón y Amazonas, la historia de los descubrimientos, which refers to the reductions of Jesuits in the Amazonas, and I quote, those missionaries who aspired to China or Japan could say that there is martyrdom there and here not, as I was told in Naples. To those I say that in this college the Indians killed three fathers, and I wish that they were remembered as well. It is true that Indians are normally cowards, but some of them are brave as well as, as, well as we have suffered uh, rebellions and deaths because of the hatred of faith. I find only one difference, and it is that in China and other places, death is caused by the defense of the faith, by the intents of the tyrants who pervert uh, the Christians, and here it is caused because of our aim to preach in the jungle where, they, where we are assaulted, and it is more glorious to die by an assault than simply by defending ourselves. Thank you for your attention.